yes welcome back students uh, so we started with elimination reactions let me just summarize what i've done in previous video in elimination reactions i've explained you types of elimination that is even elimination e2 elimination and then i've gone to examples of elimination reactions this is what i've done now let us come back to the main or the important rule which you have to remember for your exams that is after markovnikov anti markovnikov's uh, addition sage's rule let us see what does it mean now let me take one example right i'm going to going to take one example to just give a clear explanation for sage's rule so let me take two bromo butane yes i have taken this example let me see now in two bromo butane first let me write the structure but so four carbons done they have given me two bromo butane so <laughs> if i start from here this is your second carbon bromo so ch3 this is also ch3 1 2 2 1 2 and h this is my two bromo butane nice wonderful i know the basic thing if i know this at least half mark i'll be getting for for writing the structure done now i'm going to introduce you my strongest base that is alcoholic koh alcoholic koh is a strong base which follows e2 mechanism that we have been studying we have studied already uh, doing uh, we have already done some examples with that now i said elimination reactions they should be d hydro halogenation that is what should happen now when i take this particular example i am going to get two products here okay let me rub this okay i am going to get two products let us see what are this now as soon as i do beta elimination or when i get an example take your pen and just write this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon this is also beta carbon what is the difference between earlier one and this in earlier one i had alpha and beta adjacent not a problem i just finished off i got an alkene and i concluded my answer but here when you have two beta carbons adjacent what should you do yes let us start in the first case as i said your k and br comes out as kbr then that is not a problem here also k and br here also kbr because d halogenation also should be done done now your water molecule this part is done right so this part is over right so and right kbr hmm. now there is oh minus the question is this oh should it pick up hydrogen from this carbon or this carbon that is my doubt so if you can just pick up from both because both are beta carbons so if i pick up hydrogen from this okay if i pick up hydrogen from this so i'll just write ch2 h ch2 h okay right if i pick up hydrogen from this this water and this hydrogen comes out as water and what's going to happen this bond is going to shift here isn't it so this hydrogen because i have to do dehydrohalogenation this hydrogen this water has come out and this bond has shifted here now how does this look now this alkene let us see ch3 then now this is single bond ch2 done now this one has lost this br so this is ch okay this double bond has shifted here double bond the ch2 is still existing there ch2 what type of alkene did i get yes this is one butene one butene i have got done let me pick up one more when i go to the second example i took out kbr done now i have already taken out uh, hydrogen from here i'll just uh, ignore this means i have to pick up or concentrate on this beta car now if i take out this beta carbon or if i pick up this beta carbon if i'm picking up one hydrogen from here what is the rule oh and h so you will get one water then what will happen to this now what did i do i uh, let me write this is one h and h okay yes so this h and this oh has come out as water now what is going to happen this bond is going to shift here then what product will i get i'll get let me make this arrow shorter i'll get 
CH3. Observe carefully. Earlier, I shifted the double bond here. Now, I'm shifted the double bond here because I picked up hydrogen from here. If I pick up a hydrogen from here, double bond you will get here. If I pick up hydrogen from this beta carbon, you will get double bond here. So, write that. CH3 single bond. CH double bond. Now, one more CH done. And then next is single CH3. Yes, what did I do now? Let me count. 3 plus 1, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 and 4. four. And what butene did I get? I got 2 butene. Yes, I've got 2 products. Remember, I have one product was 1 butene. The other product is 2 butene. When I... When I see or the percentage or the major and minor product, one butene is a minor product and two butene is a major product. Remember that one butene is a minor product, two butene is a major product. This is what is your Sedzif rule. So what does Sedzif say is, let us write the Sedzif rule. So I am just writing Sedzif rule. Yes. According to Sage of Rule, the highly substituted alkene is a major product during dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halides. So, according to Sage of Rule, in dehydrohalogenation reactions, the highly substituted alkene is the major product this is what is age of rule yes uh, so when i compare these two which is a major product 2 butene is the major product then or is more preferred than one butene this is your conclusion this is what your elimination reaction expects you to understand so always the highly substituted alkene is a major product so note this example very very important sets of rule apart from markonikovs and anti-markonikovs thank you for watching